All right, what's up, all my dragonlings? I am the Dragon God of Gaming, Damian Dragon, and welcome back to Doki Doki, a brand new day. Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, today, what we have in store is that we're just gonna have a little bit of fun. So, let's see where we're going. Let's not let's get out the middle, man, and have a little bit of fun. Wait for me, you meanie. Oh, there she is. I waited for over an hour in front of her house. She didn't answer her doorbell. She didn't even answer her cell phone either. I decided to start walking, and now she shows up. I think next time, I'm just gonna go inside. Wake it up, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is. It's pressing every single day <laughs> to get up out of my bed. I wanna sleep. Sometimes I just stare at the window and think to myself, why even make the effort? If you want, I'll come into your room and wake you up every morning. How about that? Ew, gross. Figures as much. Trying to be helpful, and that's the things I get. Are you ready to go? I've been waiting for an hour, so I guess so. Are you sure you're awake? Yes, I'm woke as fuck. <laughs> yes! <laughs> now, that's. The, I don't know, like, for people who actually made this game. You won't expect, like, that, like, this to come out of this face. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go to school. <clears throat> Story's acting strange. We both run to school. We barely make it on time before the, the gates close. I'm glad my, my high school did not have gates like that. And it was just, like, an open parking lot and uh, the school at the back. So I could just walk in. A lot of people don't even really recognize me when I, when I went to school because it's really... I didn't really bother saying anything. Club time already. Yay. Hope for more cupcakes. If it's a daily thing. Ah, uh, the dream. The dream of daily cupcakes. Hi again, Damien. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. I, I, I want to I wanna stop it right here. I want to have a little talk. I want to have a talk with uh, Miss Miss Monica here. Throughout this session of me recording, don't you fucking dare take over my fucking recording again. I swear to God, I'll delete your ass one more time. Now, if you guys haven't seen the uh, end of the original Doki Doki Literature Club, Go and check out my uh, a couple of my recordings, where actually one is highlighted and says, and I quote, "Monica takes over my recording." Yeah, this person, this this one, talked to you guys directly, which was one of the most fucked up things I've ever done or seen on a game, where it knows I'm recording. And speaks to my audience. Shit. As you can see, it's 106 in, in, in the afternoon, so. <sighs> because I tried to record it last night and um, some of my recordings don't work, so I hope that it does. Well, the, the recording worked. As you can see. At 521. But that's okay. Nah, don't worry. I won't make the same mistakes like like last time, Monica. Last time. What last time? You see, it, it's following through on the original Doki Doki Literature Club. That's good. See, that's good storytelling. Molly looks flust flustered and leaves. Well, I'm back at the Literature Club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is hang already hanging out. I look around to see what everyone's doing. Monica and Sayori are in a deep conversation about something. As girls always are. Yuri is engrossed in a book. Of course. I decided to walk to by the closet to see what's not what Natsuki's up to. Ugh. Hey Natsuki uttered an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Are you looking for something in there? Freaking Monica. Always messing around with my stuff and never putting it back where it belongs. Priest sister! 
Let me, let me, let me, uh, let me stop here because we got like an hour to kill. Um, I hate when people do this to me. I hate when people use my stuff and don't put it back where it belongs. It frustrates me. Like, it's not that I hate when people use it. Like, that's not the problem. The thing is, I want to put it back where it was. Like, if, let's say this. If you use my adapter here, and uh, it was up here, and it's, I don't know, right there. This is not where it's supposed to be. It's aggravating. And I know how Natsuki feels. Preach, sister. I hate that, too. What's the point of keeping your collection organized if someone else is just going to mess it up? Exactly. Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books, mm, books and boxes across the shelf. I was like, books and books. I was like, oh, boxes. Uh, I'm not all the way here yet. <laughs> manga. Sweet. You read manga, right? Hell yes, I do. Manga's, manga's life. Shrek is life. Shrek is love. Doki's life. Doki is love. <laughs> How did you know? How'd you bring it up at some point? Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> well, it's not yesterday for you guys. It, it's, a, it's like a week for... Uh, wh whatever. <laughs> it's hard to keep everything incons consistent. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. I hate the use of that line. It's written on your face. When the first time someone used that against me, it was like... It was a long time ago. But I didn't get it, and I'm like... Who the fuck wrote on my face? Was that a thing? Was that an actual thing? Like, did someone do that to me again? <laughs> that's 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 a story for Damien Dragon story time. Because that was one of the days where it was just fucked up. Making sure everyone can still see. Because professional YouTuber, I have to make sure that I'm in camera frame. <laughs> I should stop reading manga before I go to bed. It looks like the ink is getting stuck on my face when I fall asleep. Uh, now, the thing is that I do most of my stuff at night. Most of the videos I do are mostly at night. And, um, yeah, it doesn't do good for your eyes, but it's... It's the only time I can I can actually get my work done with knowing everything. So before I fall asleep, I, I'm like busy editing the work that I do for the previous day. So if I do something on my phone, hold on. If I'm busy doing something on my phone, I edit everything down before I go to sleep and have it up and make sure everything is ready. So if I do oversleep. I don't need to worry about the, the day's uploads because it's already up, it's already scheduled, and it's ready to go up for you guys at the times appropriate, which is 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. standard times. So there's never usually a problem with that. So that's why I'm like, I'm used to doing everything at night. So I guess before you go to bed and uh, you're reading, then shit, that's a better use of your time. I, I see. There's a lone volume manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. Could have just said please. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. Uh, it's like... It is annoying when you like see something that's supposed to be in place, but not in place at all. Like, at all. Like, if something like over here, like if I have like my games arranged, something like right here. Like if I have my games arranged and let, let's say, um, let's say this was not in the pile, Mortal Kombat. If it wasn't in the pile and it was just over there somewhere, like over here somewhere. Where I'm pointing, which is toward my PlayStation and my TV. And it's over there, but it's not over here with the PlayStation 4 games. I'm going to be irritated until that thing is put back. 
I kept these out. I kept the. I kept these out for a uh, purpose because I was playing the. I was playing uh, Mortal Kombat earlier, and I just put in uh, WWE 2K18 to uh, practice for 2K19, which is uh, almost a month away. So, yeah, I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Parfait Girls, a series I've never heard of in, in life. I wonder if it's like Sailor Moon. But with desserts. Oh my god. That was actually one of the main series I watched. Unironically. I knew it was a girl centric show. But that was one of the only girl centric shows I actually watched. Because Sailor Moon was actually really good. Um, inquisitive, Inquisitively. In a way. Yeah, in a way. So, shit. That probably means need the way out of my demographic or freaking awesome. Sailor Moon wasn't that bad. But it was stuck between uh, He-Man, She-Ra, and She-Ra, yeah. And I was only able to watch that because I, 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 was, I didn't grow up when it was actually airing. I got to watch reruns. And between She-Ra, uh, the thun... It was... No, no, no. It was She-Ra, Sailor Moon... The Thundercats, and then He-Man. So I was watching the Thundercats before I started watching Sailor Moon. Then She-Ra came on. I didn't watch She-Ra, but I watched He-Man afterwards. So, eh. So, He-Man and the Thundercats were fucking awesome. You're gonna judge. You can do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. No, in, no way in hell am I judging. I've read stuff you wouldn't imagine a person like me would read. What am I saying? <laughs> when you judge yourself in your mind. Yeah, that's I, I've done that before. It was the tone of your voice. I'm not... Am I not enthusiastic enough? Believe me, I'm not either. Well, not after I wake up. Fuck. Which I woke up a couple hours ago, but... Shit. But I'll tell you one thing, Damien. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the books. But the, from the, the books. The box! Why is it so hard for me to uh, say words now? <laughs> I've been playing too much video games where I don't need to read. <laughs> I need to start getting into novel games. Fuck's sake. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Ooh. I see at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. Sailor Moon. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. That's Sailor Moon. Four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. Sailor Moon. <laughs> Go look up anything from Sailor Moon. And then tell me that that's ex this this word these lines does not intrinsically tell you exactly what you need to know about the cover of that sh of that photo. It's mo to the extreme. I don't get it. People are gonna rant rant at me at that one, but I don't get it. I get a lot of things, but I don't get that one. Don't just stand there, huh? Natsuki grabs my arms and pulls me out of the closet. This is the first time I'm coming out of the closet. They will be monetized. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did he just make a fucked up gay reference? Dude. Oh my god, no. That, that, that's a phrase right there. That, that's just a phrase. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Okay. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? On my lap? Way, uh, way to put a way in there to uh, make, make sure she can try to sit on your lap. Now I'm starting to consider what the fuck he just said. Dude. I sit on the floor. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Can we not? Eh, uh, why is that? I guess it's easier to be close to them, close together like this. 
Now it's written on your face. <laughs> Fuck you. Don't just say that. You know when they blush, they you know that you said something actually well. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Why though? Nothing weird about it to me. Yeah, nothing to you. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting too this close to her either, but I think it's a bit more of a plus than a minus. Let's see. Uh, cute girl. She wants you to sit next to her. You're getting her to blush. She wants you to read a book with her. And you get to sit extremely close to her. Yeah. It is a plus, dude. Why question it? I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space. Well, she hopes I won't notice. Again, note that. <laughs> I can feel her appearing over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm. You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? That's one thing about comic books. Like, okay, here. To uh, get to a point. Like comic books. I used to own a, a gigantic comic book collection. And I used to go th back through the older volumes of some of my comics and um, wonder exactly what the hell um, what the hell went from the beginning to where I am now. And these are laminated copies because these are supposed to be laminated. Again, as you can see, not open. And Landis attacks the Punisher Moon Knight. And the Lazarus, Pro and the Lazarus Project Part 3, I believe. Yep, part three. So, yeah. It's just like comic book. You're going to want to read uh, from the beginning now and then to see from where the story was to where you are ended off. So that's what I used to do in my comic books. I used to have a couple copies of, uh, what's, what was it? Uh, the early, the early um, final Amazing Fantasy comic books. And I didn't, I didn't even know how the fuck I got a hold of them. And um, some of the original Fantastic Four comic books, which I had to intrinsically leave at the point. So, shit. Those were, those were, those were worth a lot. But, um, when I read them, I switched back to the, um, the previous volume to see where everything lied in and how everything came to be at that point. This will be one of the only times I actually read something would be in the comic books. So... Ladies and gentlemen, you just found out I'm a comic nerd. If anyone want to buy these, you can act, you can ask me a price. <laughs> Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happening yet, so I can't talk at the same time. <laughs> This, he, he's sounding more and more like me every single time because in school um, My teacher would yell at me because I wouldn't be paying attention But then my um, the one thing that cropped up to me and I had said before to my teacher was there's nothing happening Why am I do why do I need to pay attention? Because like okay, if I usually get my work done before everyone else so I really didn't care about you know paying attention because I really didn't need to. I knew all the material. So it really did not really need, I didn't really need anything. Every worksheet they put in front of me, I got a B or an A. They really couldn't say much to me. And when I fall asleep, my teacher would be like, Damien, you need to pay attention. I'm like, I look up, it's the end of the day. Nobody's working, everyone's talking to each other. Why the fuck do I need to pay attention to anything? I don't need to pay attention. You just want me awake. You cut into my sleep time. <laughs> Looks like it's about, um, about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grow out of these since it's a rare, a rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up a, a, for the lack of plot. That's the only time I actually read a, a book. If it has a good plot. Kind of reminds me of the silliness of what some of the old the magical girl mangas I read had. She-Ra and Sailor Moon. <laughs> Not that I read that kind of stuff. 
Cock off all you want, buddy, because you know exactly what's going on here. So, what should I expect from this? Is it going to be a plot? Well, obviously. You'd think I would enjoy something that ha didn't have a plot. Uh, typical mean girl. And again, she's blushing a little too much. Of course not. Well, I guess I know you what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. <sighs> Every girl issue ever. Can we just have a girl that just kicks ass? Please, please world, please, please. But that just helps you get to know the characters. Okay. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like when they get into all their backstories and when some of the romance starts to happen. That's really what makes it so good. There are so many touching parts. Oh god. Oh, is that so? I'm glad to hear. Yeah, let me do this. Ah, is that so? Glad to hear it. It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I, under I underestimated you. <laughs> you know you when you can make her smile that you've done something right. Hey, wait. What's that supposed to mean? Oops. Suki gives me a little shove. I've got that shove a couple times. <laughs> and it's because I it's not because of what I said, it's because of what the things I do. <laughs> Nice gestures, you, you do sometimes get shoved, but they appreciate it. I just meant that I haven't yet seen you at your full power. Hmm, good save. Ah, uh, this chapter seems like it's about baking. This is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Oh no, something came from something called Parfait Girls. I wonder. Well, that took you pauses for a moment as if she doesn't want to admit it. Yeah, why does that matter? It doesn't. I was just curious. Hold on a minute. Excuse me. Let me point this up a bit. It was getting hot under the covers. <sighs> Not like that. Am I back in frame? Yes. It's meaning it's, it's 100 degrees in my room and I'm making sure that no one else can hear me. So. <sighs> Did you enjoy picking too, right? That's. That's just a coincidence. Right. I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got into that manga. So you got into baking because of the manga. That's basically saying it without saying it. Like would and like I ever get into anything because it's in a manga. I feel bad for anyone that impressionable. <laughs> Definitely not a coincidence. I like that thing in the back of your mind when you're like. Yeah, it's just a coincidence. It's not. It's it's nothing. It's nothing. And then you realize, and, and it's like, it's like it's not a coincidence. Is it? It's like it is a coincidence in the back of your mind. I'm, and like in the back of your mind, you're talking shit, but also and, and like when you're talking, it's like this. Okay, sure. It, I guess I guess you're right. I guess it can be a coincidence in the back of your mind. That's not a coincidence. Just don't. <laughs> Please tell me, people have done that before. I guess that explains Natsuki's interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies to pick up from manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Yeah, because a lot of mangas do have, like, dark shit. So, um, instead of occult Satanism, um, I don't know, uh, going around killing people for, um, for your senpai. Because that's a thing. Um, from Yandere Simu Simulator. I've seen a couple people play that. I want to play it, but, um... And uh, wearing your underwear over your head. I guess that's a thing. Not to mention, she's really good at it. So who am I to judge? True, you can't really judge somebody for what they like if they're good at it. God, Tia Salvato. How are you so good at John anime eyes? Really? They look like they're like peering into your fucking soul. God damn. We're on for a few more minutes. I've finished a couple chapters at this point. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone someone else. 
I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm? You don't? Um... The, the, the shift. When her eye, like, her eyes dejected so bad. You know that, like, she doesn't want to admit, but it's like, yeah, it, it is written on your face. Let me, let me take a line from you. It is written on your face. Yeah, no. I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Uh, sorry. Hmm. Like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up with them without them being all like, Uh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. Uh, I know those kinds of people. I do too! Like, a lot of things that people don't know if it was in, when in, in high school, people knew the least about me as I could possibly make sure they can. There's only a handful of people that knew anything what I did outside the school, and that was because I knew them. I knew them very well, and I knew what they liked and what they disliked. And if, people, if I just met people, people would never know what the fuck I did. I made sure that I was the most... Onyx, well, I was the most obscure person in the school. I just didn't care about people. I just wanted to graduate and get the fuck out. Like, my last year of school, um, I kept to myself more often than not. And, uh, if you guys go back on the channel a little bit and look up things for, like, Blacklight, Retribution, and For Honor, which are both, uh, series that's on the channel, so you guys can go check out the playlist. You can just look up For Honor on my channel, and it should be there. There should be a playlist. In there, there's a couple games from me and my buddy Raven Knight, aka my buddy Kimani, which me and him went to the same high school. He was one of the few people at that school that I trusted enough to let him know anything what I did outside of school. People didn't even, not even know that I did YouTube until three weeks before my graduation because I wrote it into my, my graduation certificate to get my fucking diploma, which still is awesome. <laughs> Which Me and Kamani actually graduated together So that's my boy But He knew a lot of different things So he, when he, I figured when I finally told him Cause me and him was just chilling Cause me and him had the same gym class and weight class and Weight training classes Well not the weight training but me and him had the same gym class And he was on the other Okay here let me go through it. There was two different classes that shared the gym. My class and uh, the class that Kimani belonged to. Me and him, me, the classes hung up together. So basically speaking, I hung out with Kimani and a couple of people named, named Eric and Tommy. Which I'm not going to give out no last names because there's no need to give out last names. Those people, they, those, those three people are the only ones that knew exactly who the fuck I was and what the fuck I did outside these schools. And I hung out with Kimani a couple times. And that, that's my boy, and Tommy and Eric I used to hang out with a lot. So there was, n there was no justification, no errors, or anything else. They were into the same thing that I was into. So I hated when people were like, I'm like, I'm a YouTuber. Oh, you're just a fucking gamer. I'm like, the fuck you want me to do about it? God. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge much less friends who are also into it. A.K.A. Me and Raven Knight. My boy. I already had a hard time trying to find any friends who can understand me for that. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? <laughs> yeah, when you say like a sentence and you're like, oh, that's pretty accurate. I'm like, which end of the conversation did you think it was accurate? Please be specific. That's all I want was for me is like people being specific with me. I mean like I I mean I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. Why do parents need to judge like that? My parents my 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 mother doesn't even judge me like that. She likes what I do. And she supports what I do. It doesn't really matter what I do as long as I'm not breaking the fucking law. So at least it's safe here in the club room. 
Seth Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solved any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? And if you ever have any problems, you can talk to me, okay? I'm your friend too, Natsuki. Uh, <laughs> Speechless. I've had this kind of thing happen to me before. I think it was in 10th grade. I've said something to a girl and I got her to this state from what I had to say. It wasn't because it was romantic or anything. It was more along the lines of I was just trying to comfort her. Uh, really? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. Suddenly Natsuki starts laughing. <laughs> I totally forgot that happens. Now they're just looking at it. Please, can someone tell me exactly what the fuck is up with that tooth? Is it like I'm doing like werewolf or like thing? But I've seen a lot of fan fiction. Don't believe me. I, I've seen a lot. And it's not because I go down that rabbit hole and I'm into fan fiction. Believe me. I'm fucking not. Those things are fucking creeping scary. But it was because I saw a couple things from Mini Lad and Markiplier that they were looking at fan fiction and, and stuff. And, um, I decided to look up a little bit on my own and see, like, how deep the rabbit hole, rabbit hole goes. And it's it's a very deep rabbit hole. And sometimes when they draw pictures, sometimes it's drawn like this, no matter if they're real or fake. So, what's up with the tooth? Can someone tell me, please? Can someone down in the comment section please tell me about this? I really need to know. Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Minori is my favorite character, Minori. You always feel that bad for her since she's un so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... Uh... I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish this chapter. Yeah, I hate spoilers too. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast from to her usual bossy tone. Which is good when you get so get someone to stop being bossy for a couple of minutes. But if, she, if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide them that to Natsuki, for whom it's a rare experience, the thought makes me a little... makes me smile a little bit to myself. Natsuki, uh, can you come over here really quick? Sayuri and I need to speak to you about a few things for club activities. Oh, come on! Could your timing be any worse? Sorry. <laughs> it won't take too long. When you know she doesn't want to uh, leave your side. Damn. Though you do look pretty cozy over there. It <laughs> and it's wrong. When you know that you she got caught in something. Ah. Natsuki suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. And she hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Guess I'll stop here for now. I closed the book and handed it toward Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Sure I do. Well, don't be a dummy. I've been called that many times. And I hate the I hate when people call me that. Just take home with you. Is that really alright? I say that mostly because I really didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. <laughs> well, of course. It wouldn't take forever to finish it and finish if you didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. That's one of the things I do. If I give you something, if, it, if it's returned in any better condition than it was, I will fucking murder you. That's why I never hand out any games of mine. I straight up refuse. A couple of people have asked me, like, they came into my house and they had a PlayStation 3, which I have a lot of PlayStation 3 games. They're like, yo, can I borrow this? I'm like, no. Why? I don't trust anybody. <laughs> and I really don't. I don't want people, like, I take care of my games. They're in the best condition they could possibly be in. All of them work. I don't care if people were going to take care of it or not. I don't trust people. I don't want to give out my games. Like, if people ask me for a PlayStation 4 game, I'm like, ha <laughs> fuck no. By tomorrow. Only get partway through the volume so far. Oh, I got only got partway through the volume so far. Eh, well, I'll see you there. I should be able to finish this and hopefully have time to speak to Natsuki tomorrow about this. Alright then. I stand up 
I returned to where I put my stuff and carefully slipped the book into my bag. While Natsuki is working with the other girls, Yuri approaches me. Thanks for keeping your promise, Damien, and coming back to the club. Hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. Sari told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. I really didn't want, I didn't want to join any clubs neither. And last year too. Yeah. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. With the expression in your face, seeing that you're definitely not as mad as you give out. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Mm. M -m -m. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Monaga! <laughs> Monaga! <laughs> Mother <laughs> Marker is literature. <laughs> oh, oh my God! I'm sorry. Any time, one of these girls yells a fucked up word like "motherfucker," and it comes out a face that go that resembles this, or like the cutie face that she puts on, and like the the last couple screens. It's it's just too funny. To whoever who, whoever made this mod, I love you. You fucking awesome. Damn straight. Suddenly defeated, Natsuki plopped back into her seat. Come on, Natsuki. Let's talk about some manga some more. Natsuki refuses to speak to, to me for now. I guess I'll take to um, talk to her later about it. Then I forgot to ask if she likes Sailor Moon. Hmm. Don't worry, guys. Damien always gives it his best, as long as he's having fun. If I'm having fun, then shit, I'll, I'll do anything. He helps me with the busy work without e me even asking. Like cooking and cleaning my room. How dependable. Sorry, that's because your room is so messy. I'm surprised you crawl out of that pile every morning. I, I'm, I relatively keep my room relatively clean. And you almost set your house on fire once. Luckily, I was able to put it out. I didn't know you could burn water. How? How? How do you set fire to water? That's impossible. How do you set fire to water? Lady! Stay out the kitchen. If you if you set fire to water, there's there's an issue. God does not want you to be God does not want you to be cooking anything. Please order takeout. Is that so? I put that backwards, but yeah. What's with that face? Oh god. You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Damon can become good friends too. Um they are a Hmm? Um that would be nice. As usual, Sari seems oblivious to the weird situation she has put me into. Or she's a genius. I'll thank her later. When you get someone like Yuri to blush, thanks to a friend that's oblivious to exactly what they did, you gotta thank them later. Especially if you happen to be getting into a relationship with said girl. So, I've never had this personally happen, but I've seen it happen to people. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, wait, Sayori. Uh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sorry made it out made it Sorry made it seem to sound like a big deal when it's really not. Oh, uh, what do I do? Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's to me to rescue the situation. Let the man get to work. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Yeah, ba yeah, yeah, battery's running low. Again, professional YouTuber. 
where I need to plug in my computer during a recording. And now I need to make sure that it's charging. Because sometimes it doesn't. It says it's not charging and then it's charging. Son of a bitch. Alright. Alright. Well, here. You're reaching into a bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked up um, out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention. If you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Th this is... How is th this girl so cute without even trying? I don't know. You tell me, dog. You're the one staring this girl in the face. I'm just the one reading the dialogue. She even picked out a, a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Thank you, Yuri. I'll definitely read it. I take the book from Yuri's supple hands. Supple? Why is that a word you need to use? I'm gonna move on. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Well, I guess I should start reading. About in 10 seconds, Yuri looks up at me. Oh god, the eyes. Come on. That's that death eyes. It's only been a few seconds since I sat down in my seat. Our eyes make contact. Oh, sorry. Hmm, it looks like Yuri is reading the same book as she gave me. Hey, isn't that the same book you gave me? Oh, it was on sale, so. Ah. Yeah, I, I thought it would be a good thing to get, too. Alright. Well, I kind of want to know what it's about. Hmm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled, The Portrait of Markov. Oh, fuck. Now, a lot of theories state that The Portrait of Markov is part of the reason why the original game was so fucked up. So I hope it... it I hope it ties into a little bit of the lore of uh, the mod. I hope uh, the mod maker didn't just, you know, put a small little story together and forgot to give, you know, this out. Okay, I was hoping, I was hoping that uh, someone didn't run into my fucking trash bins outside. People used to do that, and which fucking sucks. <coughs> There's ominous looking eyes symbol on the front cover. All right, I just wanted to make sure I didn't, I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister. How do you lose a younger sister? Eh. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these pe people who escape from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and life starts to fall apart. How, how can someone make something that dark? Yeah. Oh, it's anything from Stephen King. Yeah. That's kind of. <laughs> Come on now, Yuri. The eyes. Go back to the glistening eyes, please, God. Yuri gently giggles, then starts laughing uncontrollably suddenly. You know she's crazy when she's always doing that. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Damien? Well, it's not a bad thing, I guess. Well, no. I mean, I've read a few books like that. Um, that's not even close to the truth. Kind of like manga. Yeah, because manga has a lot of dark stories. Look at Elf and Lead. As one. Of several. And several, I mean... A lot. She's acting kind of strange. Maybe it's her eyes. She has pretty eyes, though. Yeah, because her eyes are the same color as her fucking hair. Jesus, lady. How do you get purple eyes? Just like purple guy from FNAF. God damn. How do you do that? It's just those kinds of stories. They challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals and their own philosophy that they believe in. And then suddenly, when you thought you were related to the protagonist, they made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I guess. I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. I'm kind of thinking that I'm hearing a lot of this from before. Dude, you have no idea. Oh, don't worry. Don't apologize. I'm kind of... I'm kind of into the, this book now. Oh? 
Well, that is the truth. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know what mm, that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm, so I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. Keep talking. I can hear you ramble for days. Smooth. Smooth as a motherfucker. So smooth. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's in the back of your mind when you're like this. Okay. How the fuck did I just do that? You said the most smoothest thing in the fucking world. And in the back of your mind, you have no idea how the fuck it came out. I've done that before to a crush of mine. And I'm like, in the back of my mind, I'm like, did I really just say what I thought I just said? How the fuck did I come up with that line? You know, that just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. I can listen to you forever. Again, you're saying something very, very slick. Sorry. I just saw something. It's literature club after all. Uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading, right? You don't have to. What are you saying? Didn't you want me to talk... Um, do you want to talk about it more? I, I guess. Let me just get the book. I could go to the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yeri's. Here, give me one moment. I need to get some water because my throat is sore. They gotta have a bathroom connected to my room. Ah. It's a lifesaver, believe me. Ah. Oh, good. I step into the seat next to Yuri's. Oh, fuck. I forgot I was still on that. <laughs> ah, Yeah? Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. No, I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading and company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I'll open the book and start the prologue. I still don't understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It's okay like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry. I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Here, this should work, right? I slide my decks until it's up against Yuri's. Then I hold my book once more between the two of them. Ah, uh, I, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each learn, lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I instead use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, uh, I guess that makes that it makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Damn, dude. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. I do the same with my right arm, my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and and, and she's in the corner of my vision. Now that actually has something. I I actually have a story about that one. I actually had a group project before where I had to read. We had to read a chapter of something. I had to read a chapter of something, and um, 
there was four people and there was one book. So since I had the longest length of everyone else, sorry, let me let me grab this. So that the longest length of someone else, like over here, like everyone else can see. So it was more along the lines of people all had to uh, huddle to me to see any anything. So it was like that. Sorry, that that was a friend of mine. Are you ready? Uh, to turn the page? Ah, uh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I got over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. The weird sweet smile. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the, that's probably the least I can do. Since you're, you've been so patient with me. Y yeah. Not answering that one. Thanks. I hate when people, like, me mess with my recordings. Sorry. We, co we continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if, I, if I'm reading to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it on my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's blunter in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all of the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like, it's not like I can see into your head or anything. But they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. Oh, I, I see. You remain silent for a moment. But Damien, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Uh, that's so embarrassing that you think mm, that. you think that. Wait, wait. I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. I've done something like this before. I've talked, I've said something, and people took it a bad way. Like, I meant it in a good way. So I already didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I'm, I'm more meant that it's actually cute. Ah. What are, you, what are you saying so suddenly? I... Okay, everyone, it's poem time. And the jump. <laughs> when you're in the moment and somebody fucks with you, damn. I think it's about time we share today's poem with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ah. Your exhale is spared from finishing her thought. Is that all right, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Ah, uh, it's not. It's fine. All right, I guess it's time to share poems. Damien, you're up first. I start to set my poem first. Darkness wanders in my soul, pours out from each and every hole. I don't know what this all means, but let it end now, exit scene. That was not bad. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I guess around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me from my mediocre writing abilities. I can't write neither, dude. I understand the f frustration. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. If you're at rock bottom, there's no way, um, way than up, right? I better start climbing then. Believe me, dude, you haven't hit rock bottom. It's rock bottom when you get smacked with the poem. When the poem actually hurts you physically and mentally, then you've hit rock bottom. <laughs> you haven't hit rock bottom yet, my brother. Across the room, Yuri and Monica are happily chatting. Mine is on Yuri and Natsuki. They generally exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, that's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? You're missing the point. I, I know that. <coughs> I just meant that the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh, you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? 
thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. When you try to say something and it comes out like that, yeah, sometimes it's a bad thing. So sometimes watch what you have to say. Believe me, in the end, it, it can hurt somebody. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sorry liked it. And Damien did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some of suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mmm. And Damien liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Nasuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh. That's not what I... Uh... You, you're you just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Damien appreciates my voice more than he appreciates yours. Oh. Rose battle! <laughs> this is how a cat fight starts. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's get it going! <laughs> Uh, how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you, are you that full of yourself? Uh, no. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. And when you know you've been caught. <laughs> um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew two sizes too big as soon as Damien started showing up. That's okay. <laughs> God damn! Burn! <laughs> Holy shit! What a burn! That was being roasted! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! I don't like fighting, guys! So they both girls turned towards me, as if they just noticed I was standing there. Well, I'm screwed! No escape now! <laughs> no, bro! There is no escape! You're fucked! Damien, she, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out to the read at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Damien. Wait. There's a reason we have so many deep, expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Damien? Um, well? How did I get dragged into this in the first place? You showed up to a you showed up to a literature club full of beautiful women and expecting not to get in the middle of a cat fight? Believe me, dude, you should have seen that became, coming from a mile away. It's not like I'm an expert on writing. But screw it, let's do it. <laughs> so, of course, that's, go that's going to be... None of us shut up! Truer words have never been said! That's. <laughs> I love this saying! None of us shut up! You know what? Natsuki glares at me menacingly while Yuri's expression is so defenseless. What the hell am I going to do now? Then it hits me. Natsuki! Yuri! I know this is strange for me to say. You guys are my friends. New friends, sure, but still friends. We don't need to fight and bicker with one another. Friends are wonderful people who have differences and can respect one another for those differences and opinions. Preach, my friend. Preach. Natsuki's poem I read today hit me hard. It's amazing on how people can really only really try, then try, and, and they try. Yuri's poem is amazing because how skillfully misleading the message is without the with the bread and the raccoon. You make a poem about a bread and I could, oh, I, I, I'm reading into it. Everyone's so talented with, while my skills are so subpar. So why are we fighting again? Because, well, Siri jumps into the, on the conversation. Also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. Did she just... Uh, my, my expressions exactly. What the fuck did she just say? Say all right. Terry so stands triumphantly. Maga stands behind her with bewildered expression. My jaw drops to the ground. Did you just say what I heard you say? <laughs> exactly. How do you gonna? There's no reason for me to do 
figure out that Sayori is bisexual or anything. But that that's 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 some words in a sentence right there. That's that's all I can say. That's some words in a sentence. Oh. Sayori approaches Yuri with her hands out in that squeezing motion. You're really beating this donkey to death with with this, aren't you? Whoever made this mod, you're beating the donkey to death with this. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. I would too. Don't squeeze on me. Aw. Sherry goes back to whatever she was doing before the commotion happened. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. I gently pat Natsuki on the head. Aw. There, there. <laughs> Good doggy. <laughs> so, this is why Theory is vice president. I whispered to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader, I can or and I can organize things. But I'm not very good with people. Neither am I, sister. Neither am I. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing to me. Thank you. Not a problem. Wasn't that good? Wasn't I wasn't that good before either. But something changed for me. <laughs> Monica gives me an awkward smile. They could get good care of Sayori, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. Oh no! We're two episodes in. Is is the next episode gonna be like Yuri hang? I'm sorry, Sayori hanging herself. Oh fuck! That makes two of us. You can count on me. I will take care of all of you. That dream making me say weird things again. Thanks. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing me to blush. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If that dream is true, I need to save them all, my friends. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright, well, mostly. Yeah, because you and Yuri Yuri was about to rip each other's hair out. Damien, how about you? Yeah, I had fun. It was a neat thing to talk about um, talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from, from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, did I learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes? With any luck, they'd hope for me yet. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Damien, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. This is bliss. Sayori, about what happened earlier? Eh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That was really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise, they're both wonderful people. Sorry, Mom was under her breath. I think it's because of you. I think they're trying to fight for dominance of you. Women problems. I can't question. At least you won't have to worry about me when I'm gone. The other girls will take care of you. What did you just say? N no, nothing silly. You're just hearing things. No, Siori, don't kill yourself. No. <laughs> you don't. You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I like you all, actually. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Damien, it's nice that I get to spend a lot of time with you at, in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... I blush awkwardly and got flustered. <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> Looks like Sierra still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Or maybe I'm a dumbass and she knows more than I'm thinking. Probably. Where did that come from? I'll make sure we all have nice and bright future. Um, we all have a nice and bright future, Sayori. Together. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I really mean that this time. There we go saying this time again. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Three by Sayori. So, okay. This is where I'm going to end it after another day. I'm just going to... 1407. Yeah, I knew that was a problem. Alright. Well, that's it for uh, Doki Doki Literature Club today. Hope everyone had enjoyed. I had a lot of fun. Now tell me, what you guys think? Did you guys enjoy today? Did you guys enjoy what happened? So, Yuri and Natsuki 
is uh, fighting amongst each other again. So I guess uh, this time they're trying to fight for dominance over me. That's a fucking thing, I guess. I guess. But hey, it's better than them ripping their fucking hairs out at, at, at me, so better than nothing. Here, let me get rid of this display capture. Boom. And full picture, me. But anyway, doing liter Doki Doki Literature Club is always fun. And it, and it's going to get more funnier the more the more I play it. So I can't wait to do the next episode. And the next episode is going to air next Saturday. So go check it out. It's going to be a lot of fun. So anyway, um, if you guys like what you see, hit the like button. Comment down below and tell me what you guys think. Who's your favorite Doki? Is it Monica? It's Yuri? It's Natsuki? Or is it Sayori? Tell me down in the comments below. Who, who do you ship? So anyway, <clears throat> no, not ship. Who's your favorite Doki? So tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. And if you guys are new, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon. You get notified whenever I upload. Why? Because anytime I step into these games, it's really fun. I do something like this every single day. So don't miss out and have a lot of fun. Come along, hit that subscribe button, and become a part of the Dragonlings. With all, that we're all family, and we all love to have fun. So don't miss out. Don't miss out down. Please stay in your seat. But for now, thank everyone so much for watching the video. And if you guys like it, please smack the like button and show who's boss. And please share and subscribe for the Glade Dragon. So you too may become a model. But from Damien, Tito Blanche, video games all over the world, I will see you Dragonlings in the very next episode. Peace, my friends. Good gaming. Happy hunting. And I'll see you Dragonlings back inside the world of Doki Doki. Hope you guys enjoyed today. I will see you guys next time for some more Damien Dragon action. Peace.